is Jordan again from Lamborghini Newport Beach. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be reviewing the all new 2019 Lamborghini Urus, which is, yes, an all new SUV for Lamborghini. The first since the LM002 in the 1980s. This car is all wheel drive, 650 horsepower, 626 pounds of torque, powered by a four liter V8 twin turbo. Standard on the Urus is matte black parts of the front bumper, matte black fender well, matte black side skirt, and matte black bottom portion of the rear bumper. This car is optioned with the style package, so all those pieces are gloss black. And then Lamborghini recently announced that you could now add carbon fiber to those pieces, which looks absolutely stunning. Carbon ceramic brakes come standard on the Urus all the way around. They are 10 piston in the front, and six piston in the rear, the largest front rotors on any SUV ever produced in the entire world. How incredible is that? In simple words, the inside of the Urus looks like a flat out fighter jet. As you can see here, uh, the logo is embroidered into the headrest and this does have QC Tura stitching, which you can see down there. It's the hexagonal stitch uh, that is an option for this car. Another cool feature that the Urus does offer is you can say things like, I'm cold or I'm hungry, and you hit the voice command button and it'll actually find you restaurants. It'll turn on the AC or the heater, depending on what you say. This car is so smart. It's fast. It's comfortable. This car is just an absolute monster. I'm feeling kind of cold. What temperature should I set for you? 72 degrees, please. I am increasing the temperature to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you very much. <laughs> Standard, the Urus is gonna come with four driving modes along with Ego mode. First mode's gonna be Strada, and then Sport, Corsa, which is track, and Neve, which is snow. And then you have your Ego mode over here to where you can customize your driving settings versus selecting a preset, such as the four on the left-hand side. see what this 650 horsepower monster has to offer. So here we are everyone, the fun part, getting to test drive the all new Lamborghini Urus. Hope you guys enjoy this part, I don't see why you wouldn't, uh, but here we go. We're gonna start in strata mode and enjoy the car and go through uh, all the modes minus the off-road ones because we won't be doing any off-roading. But in the near future, I will be taking the Urus off-road with one of my clients. Uh, I just want to thank him so much. He did say he uh, would be open to taking his car off-roading. We won't go too crazy, uh, but we will get some great footage of that. The Urus is such a great car. It's, it's versatile, it's spacious, it's fast, it's comfortable. There's also a lot of new safety features that Lamborghini has never offered in their vehicles before, uh, such as lane departure warning, blind spot assist, forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, forward collision. There's also heads up display that this car has. Top view camera, 3D camera, 
whole bunch of safety features uh, that has never been offered from any Lamborghini before. So they did a fantastic job of uh, putting these new safety systems in this new car. So I'm in Strata mode right now and the car just shut off. So that means it has the stop start enabled, which we're gonna throw into sport mode to disable that. You hear the car get a little bit louder, a little more fun. Sounds so good. And when, when you let off the gas, you can hear a little blup, 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 blurp. It sounds so good. I love this car. Whoa! horsepower, eight speed, conventional automatic. This car moves. Wow, I'm impressed. There are two actual off-roading modes this car has. There is Sabia, which is sand, and the car will lift up with the air suspension. And there is Terra, which is mud or dirt. Um, and then I don't know if you want to consider it off-roading, but there is Neve, which is uh, for the snow, and, and the car will raise up in that mode as well. And it also, uh, depending on what mode you're in, it will change the shifting points. Can't put into words, my goodness. This is a Lamborghini. This is such a Lamborghini. Wow. So I just flipped it back into Strata. So it'll be more of a comfortable ride. The car quieted down a little bit. And in your, when you're in Strata, that's when most of the safety features are in effect, such as the lane departure warning, uh, blind spot awareness. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into Corsa mode, which is track. Oh, you can just hear the rumble in the engine and the exhaust. It just makes me smile. Gosh. Just unbelievable. I just can't explain it. You have to experience it for yourself. This car is excellent. <laughs> it feels like a freaking video game. My goodness. What a great car. What a great car. This car also does have four wheel steering, so it'll turn on a dime. At low speeds, the rear wheels will turn in the opposite direction of the front wheels. Hear that thing rev up? It sounds like a full on race car. Exceptional. Sorry, well, having a little bit too much fun, I guess. Um, what I was saying was at low speeds for the four wheel steering, the rear wheels will turn the opposite direction of the front wheels and at high speeds the rear wheels will turn the same direction as the front wheels. More agility at low speeds, more stability at high speeds in uh, easier terms. vectoring on this car, um, which they also recently put on the Evo. So going around sharp turns and stuff like that, at high speeds you'd actually feel the weight of the car shift from one side to the other uh, to keep the weight balanced on each side. Top speed on this car is about 190 miles per hour. 
0 to 60 Lamborghini claims it's 3.6 seconds. I have not tested it myself, but from what I've heard from uh, other people is it's actually under that, closer to 3 seconds, which is incredible, especially for a, 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 an SUV uh, to have that kind of power. Uh, best power to weight ratio in its class, believe it or not. I just, I can't stop, stop smiling driving this car. It feels like a sports car. It doesn't even really feel like a big SUV. It's lighter than most SUVs. It's extremely fast, there's no doubt about that. It's comfortable, especially in Strata mode. It feels like one of the most comfortable cars out there. It's so smooth and plush. Great car. Brakes are so strong, those 10 piston front brakes and six piston rear. Largest brakes on any SUV ever produced. Absolutely mind boggling. For those of you that haven't been to our dealership, Lamborghini Newport Beach, I recommend you to come by, check out our inventory, see what you think. We have over a hundred cars available right now between uh, all four brands that we carry. We do have Lamborghini, McLaren, Koenigsegg, and Bugatti, along with other high-end uh, exotic pre-owned cars. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the seat massage. Let's check this out. I'm gonna go on shoulder in the highest intensity. Having a massage chair and driving a Lamborghini at the same time. I mean, what's not to like? My goodness. So you just, while you're driving, you let off the gas a little bit and you're blop, 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 blop. It's the coolest thing. Great people. I encourage you, if you've been considering a Urus and haven't had the time to come by and check them out, please reach out to me. More than happy to uh, show you the car and answer any questions that you may have. Well, we just made it back. It's getting pretty late. I just wanted to make this video for you guys so you can get a closer look at the Urus. Thank you guys very much for watching my video on the Urus. I really appreciate it. Put in the comments what your thoughts are, something else that you'd maybe like to see. Um, we may be doing that off-road video, which is very exciting. Um, I'll get to the Aventador S review um, at some point. We're very, very busy. We're selling a lot of cars, which is great. Um, and if there's a specific car you're looking for, like I said, please let me know. We do have an SVJ available in that Verde Ithaca. Very, very nice car. Um, along with, there will be some roasters coming in the future, but those are all spoken for. Um, they could become available, maybe not. Uh, we shall see. Um, I also have a great McLaren inventory as well. 675 LTs, 600 LTs, a couple P1s and a few Senna's available. Uh, please let me know. More than happy to help you guys out and answer any questions that you may have. I uh, appreciate you, everyone, watching my videos. It really means a lot. Thank you so much, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Have a great one.